While releasing results for the 2015 primary leaving exam, the Executive Secretary for UNAIB, Matthew Bukenya, pointed out that girls performed better in English than the boys, but the boys performed better overall. Girls performed better than the boys in English. Boys performed better in the rest of the subjects. Generally, boys performed better than the girls. Matthew Bukenya was, however, quick to decry the increased cases of exam malpractice amongst various pupils across the country. The Uganda National Examinations Board was left with no choice but to nullify results of 909 pupils due to suspected exam malpractice. Results from 909 candidates have been withheld due to suspended in the suspect, suspect <coughs> involvement in various forms of malpractice. Among those external assistance to the most common form of malpractice. Other forms were against pollution, impersonation, but those that are uh, in the lower percentage. English was best performed, followed by social studies, religious education, integrated science, and mathematics came last. Statistics from the exams body indicate that 82,973 pupils failed the PLE exam. However, overall statistics indicate that the pupils did perform better compared to last year, as Matthew Bukenya explains. This year, 517,895 candidates passed the PLE examination, compared to 516,860 candidates who sat in the previous year. Overall, therefore, more students qualified to join the post primary institutions than those of the other. However, the Education Minister Jessica Alupo decried the ever escalating number of pupils who drop out of school every year. One of the major challenges we face at the lower education cycle is a big number of children who enroll in primary one but do not complete up to P7. Equally disturbing is the number of P7 pupils who register for PLOE but do not sit exams at the end of the year. Alupo warned parents who have made it a habit not to send their children to school to seek an education. I continue to appeal to all parents who wrongfully choose to keep children at home to look after cows or animals, to fetch water and firewood, to go fishing, especially in island areas, babysitting, especially in rural areas, and also in carpentries and workshops in the urban areas, to send these children to school at the time when they are required to be at school. I would like to therefore call upon local leaders and security agencies and law enforcement officers and the opinion leaders to exert pressure on such parents and guardians so that they can send their children to school. 621,401 pupils sat for last year's exam from 12,673 centers with 478,585 of them under the Universal Primary Education Program and 142,816 from private schools. Wakeso District registered the best performers with 8,431 pupils emerging in the first grade and 19,328 in Division Two. Kampala Central passed out 7,614 pupils in Division 1 and 14,269 in Division 2. Meanwhile, Amudat District registered the lowest number of first grades with only one pupil shining, followed by Bovuma and Queen Districts with only 10 pupils in Division 1.